Hello, welcome to devlog number three. My name is Delina. I'm the art and audio director here at Lucid Main Studios. And today I'm gonna to be showing you some of the things I've been working on over the past few months. So composing music for the game is one of my main roles on the team. And since I haven't shown much of it yet, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of how the music in the game is sounding so far. I'm scoring for this sort of rundown world that we've been working on since the beginning. It's an outdoor scene, the weather is pretty dreary, and the atmosphere is a little spooky. Things are rundown and broken and deserted, and I'm wanting the music to contribute to that uneasy feeling that you would get if you were somewhere deserted and abandoned. So let's take a listen to it. Putting on headphones will help the music experience just because there's some panning going on, but if you don't have any, that's okay. You'll still be able to hear everything perfectly. Here we go. A big part of the reason that the music adds to the unsettled feeling is because I'm not using a whole lot of traditional instruments in the composition. Most of what I'm using are actually altered sounds from various things like marine life, the forest, wind and thunder, and then a few process blends of other instruments. Take a listen again and see if you can pick out any of the sound sources. To add to the overall atmosphere of the game world as well, I wanted to add in some wind and rain sound effects. You can see the rain falling kind of in the world right now. And although the weather assets that we used for this did have rain sounds that came along with it, I really didn't like the way it sounded and I wanted to add something a little better. The rain sounds I'm adding make you feel like you're a little more in the rain as opposed to just watching the rain fall in front of you. I wanted to add in some gentle wind sounds as well. As you can see, the weather here isn't too intense. It's mostly just constantly dreary and some gentle wind seemed like it would fit as opposed to like big gusts. I layered a couple wind tracks together, modulated one so that the pitch and the speed was different and then overlapped the two so that there was a continuous loop there were some ebbs and flows to the intensity and so that the loop wouldn't come to an abrupt stop when the track was finished. This way the loop sounds more dynamic and it can also be played multiple times over because there isn't a clear beginning or end. Another aspect to adding in landscape sounds or music into a game world or environment in Unreal Engine specifically is sound attenuation. It's really helpful in setting boundaries in between two sound areas, and it's really helpful in creating seamless transitions between two areas, two sounds, or two levels. In Unreal Engine, there are a few options of how you can shape your sound attenuation parameters. Uh, for this, I'm just using the sphere shape. The inside of the circle is where your sound is at its peak volume. The outside circle is the fade out from that peak volume. So when you walk out towards that outside circle, the volume will get quieter. And of course, when you go the opposite way, come into the circle from outside, the volume will fade in. And this is a good way to seamlessly change sound boundaries. The last thing I'm gonna show you today is the music from another area of the game, the bunker. The bunker is another abandoned area where our main character is the only one around. The music adds to that eerie feeling because again, I'm not using very many traditional instruments and some of them are kind of weird, so it kind of contributes to it a little more. Check it out.
So if you listen closely, you may be able to pick out a violin or cello in the mix. But besides that, there are sound samples from two different cities, a helicopter sample, whale sounds, and samples of a monochord in there. The reason I'm using so many random things in my music is because I'm after specific sounds that portray specific emotions and I'm not necessarily married to using a certain set of instruments all the time if something else can get that sound for me. And sometimes a really good way to get that uneasy feeling is to hear something that you weren't expecting and you have no idea what it is and your brain has to try and figure out what it is and it adds to that confusion and uneasiness as well. And there we go. That's all I've got to show today. Stay tuned for next week. Ricardo is going to be showing some of the things he's been working on. And if you haven't seen it already, go watch Roche's video from last week to see what he's been up to. Thanks so much for watching this devlog. And thanks for following along on our game development progress. And uh, see you guys later.